गुड मॉर्निंग गैस टुडे लेट्स टेक एन एक्सकर्शन टू मेरी माँ विलेज लेट्स गो दिस इज़ द मेरी माँ जंक्शन गॉप टू द मेरी माँ विलेज दिस इज़ शिफ्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स इट्स कम्युनिटी बिल्डिंग बिलोंगिंग टू द शिफ्ट हेल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट प्रोविजनल स्टोर ऑफ दिस टेनेंस हैस Rented. Going up. Here is a U turning. The road going straight leads to the playground, way to playfield. This is the U turning. In order to get to the middle of the village, we need to take this road up. There's someone up ahead carrying water. The floodlights of the ID Stadium, the place just up there. These are also all laid out. These buildings, good good buildings. People has come even up to the village jurisdiction for getting rented house, as uh, it's very difficult to get rent in the. Kohima City need to go up this road in order to get into the heart of the village. This road goes up to the village. I have seen in one of my previous videos, I actually compiled some footages of this area. These are monolith erected. In the oh, this road goes to the Pentecostal Church, and uh, its sign is also here. And uh, as I was saying, these two monoliths were erected. The smaller one for the 25th Silver Jubilee, and uh, for the Golden Jubilee of the Kefir Keldi. It has been celebrated some four or five years back, the Golden Jubilee. My place is down there. I'll go a bit up and show you. So no highway two goes to Woka, Mohokun, and my place is just down there. There's one, the red roof, and the the terrace. You can see uh, part of a field of Konoma village. The sky is yet to be up. So nothing much is visible right now clearly. Uh, I need to go a bit up in order to get entry into the actual village. And of course we are already inside Merima only. But uh, from junction, from down there, Merima jurisdiction, actually it's a bit farther than that. It's on the main road also. My home is also part of the village. Caring rice to her that's place that's what she told me oh that's a new merima village and that's the new baptist church coming up under construction some nice tomato local tomato local variety and that's what we call a uh, naga tomato yeah that's the new church coming up baptist church Merima Baptist Church and uh, this place it belongs to one of my friends and the village is actually up there we'll go over there and have a look this is a program uh, Merima Baptist Church oh this is the old church here is also a monolith what is written Jiva Teja Keza Utsa 1911 First Christianity, uh, 2011, that was the centenary year. This is the old church. Here is one of my auntie. She is going to Kohima. One car is coming. We will take this step. We will go up to top of the village. Down there, the green roof. That's a Pentecostal church, uh, which I am a member of. This is right there, down there. Climb up that side. We'll have to 
climb these steps in order to get on top of the village so this goes up to the top of the village oh this is a pig yeah. over here being reared and this yeah. green roof this used to be the old baptist church no no more use they're constructing a new building over there let's go up and check out how it what it looks like from the top of the village these are the steps we need to climb up house it used to belong to my grandfather now it is being used by some of my aunties oh nice flowers they're rearing here i just do them over there and see part of kohima also and jaffa you can see and this is part of merima you see that kedijus uh, apartment down there i just see them over there okay let's climb the stairs and what's this oh this is my uh, grandfather's memorial stone okay let's go up it's just uh, need to make a lot of climbing and that's why uh, these are uh, the villagers people living in the heart of the village they are quite strong and sturdy because of being used to this kind of lifestyle mm. okay we are almost on the top but still some to go some more steps to climb up uh, the pigs are making no, it must be hungry. This pig also must be asking for their morning meal. Going up. Up there. New! No! Kiki, what is your move? Kiki, what is your Oh. Kiki, really, you're going to Oh. I'm going to put it on Almost there. There is a road. Uh, here. I've taken the steps from here. This is the view. We'll go still up. This place is Dahu. In the early days, in the olden times, people sit around here and take important decisions of the village. Even court judges also. Panchayat and all. That's Jaffa over there. Come on, let's get on top of the topmost portion of the village. We are standing on the top of the village. This is a tip hill mount of the village. This is the topmost area, highest level, highest peak, so to say. That green building is the Christian Revival Church. I used to them over there. Jaffa over there. I am in the middle of the village, in the heart of the village. And new secretariat, uh, that's Kohima. New secretariat. Yeah, these are that's uh, complex new secretary complex. These are the uh, associated buildings related with the new secretary directorate departments. And the coastal church is just down there, the green roof. And these are private residence. Somebody's constructing here. Okay. I've taken another diversion. Of course, we're still very much in the heart of Merima. No, it's not a lot of it. But you get on. Okay, you're going to get on. You're going to get on. You're going to get on. Oshima, I'm going to get on. Zara Yuda, sir. You're going to get on. Zara Yuda, sir. Actually, I was saying, uh, since I don't come here often, I have uh, those roots which were in use. No more. That's what I was saying. So, how do we go? 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 Let's see. Okay. So maybe this will be the last uh, time we see this part of the uh, area. This house disused. Already vacated. People started migrating. Migrating towards the main road. Because you have seen. Very hilly. So people prefer to live a bit lower down the hill in the ancient days people preferred to live on top but now because of the difficulties it poses 
Daar is daar de shooting down. De secretariat. I've come to the other side of the village. Some nice flowers being grown. Oh, that's the high court building. Loads of changes since last I visited our village. This Merima. Some sort of a gully. Actually, it's footpath only of the village. In my childhood, I used to roam around this place a lot. I was brought up from this locality only. I used to spend one of my grandfathers of the green one. I spent my childhood with memories. Dogs are barking but confined to their compound only. So, we have come back. Look at the crowd. Oh, I'm a rich I bag the babuza. I have lots of bikes here. Uh, I'm trying to show you the other side of the village, actually that side. But uh, oh, gets been actually the one road goes up here earlier. Now they have closed it. Okay. okay. Oh, this is our village gate. Let's go a bit closer. Everything is falling apart because of non-maintenance. In the ancient days, our forefathers, the curve these designs uh, and these are what we call Jeffrey stone eruption to protect against attack of enemy this side has fallen down that's the new Baptist church go this way and show you a bit the other side of the village which is not very much visible from where I live there is a gate also I do not know whether the road is open or not let's go and check out the chair but let's climb up here and see whether anything is visible whether uh, because i'm not very familiar actually with this area since i seldom come here this is a small footpath very risky also there is one more dahu around here yeah you can see that building i'm not familiar whose building there is that is the village from merima village from down there uh, can you see on it? Yeah, it's there. I was having a room pocus. I just did, you know, I, I caught over there. Over there. And this part of my village is known as Chaku. We call it Chaku. Uh, which I'm not very familiar since I don't come here often. Most of the time I'm going to, confined to that side. Uh, southern side or northern side. I don't know what direction. Western side from here. Let's see. Hmm. And uh, Tsushima also used to be visible but, uh, from my village, but I cannot see from here. It must be hidden by the cloud covers or maybe because of a lack of light as cloud covers are there. To, from here, we got diverted and took a footpath. Let's go and check out what is visible from here. Uh, that's, I think, a uh, new Merima, Meribasa. Mm, from here, some pedifuls of my village, visible, you can say that. Lehurongkina zunda. There is, I get all mitzvah. He's my friend. He's a veterinary doctor. He's a hardworking fellow. He's a farm manager of the chicken poultry farm. No, I just did him. Uh, it's visible from here, but the cloud cover not giving much visibility and some pedifuls down there and let's zoom and have a look let's zoom in yeah those are the ones I'm referring to and those pedifuls in the far away that those belongs to Konoma village and Mezuma also I suppose because they are neighboring villagers this is my friend's residence um, as I was saying he's a veterinarian but at home, he worked like this hard worker. So, what? To be sure, I'm not so bad. I was just telling him adios. I started around 6. So, I assume it's now around 6 30. It's still early hours. People maybe just got up in the village. Actually, people get up early. But I assume. Now everything is changing, lifestyle changing. So 
Uh, as I was saying, lifestyle is changing. Modern civilization. What is modern civilization? Modernization, westernization, and urbanization. This is the definition of uh, modernization. Oh, the road is becoming very grassy. There's a. I don't think this road is being often used. We are coming towards the new building of the uh, Merima Baptist Church. The road has become non-existence because of excavation, cutting of earth. The road is gone. And hardly it's being used because we have got better roads that side. And it can come towards this side as you might have seen from my footage is under construction still. My friend was telling me that he is uh, making some construction. Probably this is the construction he was referring to. This is the uh, Baptist church under construction. Since it's yet to be completed, we'll visit some other time. My friend sitting over there, he's sitting a cup of tea. Chocolate or no? Remember? I'm going down. I'll go down this way. Oh, this is actually uh, sort of nala only. We call it ratsu. Rat, not ratsu. Um, what, what do you call it? Nangami. Okay. Actually, I spent part of my childhood growing up. Uh, here, why I tell that here is because uh, I'm going to show you something interesting, quite interesting. You'll be intrigued by seeing it. That's no uh, One of my uncles is going for hunting. Oh, that's my granny's place actually. I spent my childhood here growing up in my uh, formative years. Okay, we have come back to the footsteps. Uh, this is being used by majority of the villagers. Uh, shall we go down and have a look at uh, the Pentecostal church? I think it will be better and that will be nice also in a way. We call that the Pierizu and we call this side um, uh, Sokromie. In the olden days, my village used to be demarcated popularly by three regions, three part. Sokromi, that is this area. And that area is Peri, Zoo, Peri, what this? Uh, uh, later, if when I recall, uh, recollect, uh, uh, correct them, I'll tell you. And the other side, which I took you, uh, we call it Chaku. We are on the way to the Pentecostal Church, Meriema. Clover, na lavo. Lavo, zu bia le mau. Oh, rocky day, zu bia thorje. Zu bia me ruot se bahe. Ah, ugo kau kiu, mo ho da vorje le. Me ri se da vorje le kau kiu. Ko da ni no. Mo che do kiu zu ho wo. Du am hei si. Oh, I actually my friend, my staff also. I was just talking to him about today's program, his program. This is the church. But from the front, I'll show you. This is his house, my friend's place. Apo, no, rena shira. Chakri lemo. Chakri lemo. Chakri lemo la. Oh, apa shu da ho? Hatu ki le da ho? Ah, she is a worker. She is a sister. She is actually. Ah, this is the Pentecostal church from the. Go up like this. I don't know whether it's log or not. Let's just climb up and see. Uh, yeah. Believers also. I mean, sisters, these fair home workers, they are committed. Ground floor, upstairs, it is the church. It's open. Um, yeah. I call that a pirizu. But uh, yeah, it's not coming to my mind. So, Koka, Chakumie, and. I know that there is only now, right now. <laughs> Maybe I'll recollect. But when I require, it doesn't come to my mind. Nice flowers put up by our lady church members. Oh, this is our church. 
this is the Pentecostal church. Some chairs are there, but normally to humble ourselves, we sit on the floor, carpeted floor. We use drums also, and some other musical instrument. You have seen the church, our church. From here, the uh, wrestling hall is very close by, and in the earlier hornbill editions, the uh, conduct the uh, international rock hornbill rock festival over there, over that structure. Part of a uh, medical college also visible from here, but because of the darkness, nothing is clearly visible. Okay, some other time I'll try to show you guys. This is our Hipponia Hell Ground. We conduct our Hipponia Day here, Hippo Day. That is 11th of January annually on this very particular oh that's the pentecostal church yeah it's very close to Hifemia ground these are all additional structures we did some program golden jubilee for that this uh, pulpit was erected and here for conduct of and this is a school actually uh, but run by some other private parties let out they uh, rented the building and they conduct the school here i think it's up to class two lower primary LP school go back you see you have an idea if you take this road and come up coming straight to Hifemi ground Hifemi Metsa ground earlier uh, I used this for conduct of uh, sport events also in the all in this I think this was constructed way back in the 60s I guess time era that's my guesswork only road comes down like this only it's still kacha after all it's village level so we need fun but don't have this road also was constructed by our kale these all these stones did from kale fun we had some fun so from that fun took out and did expansion of the road and putting up of the stone uh, and this is the monolith I already showed you in one of my previous videos in order to commemorate silver jubilee and golden jubilee the smaller one is to uh, commemorate the silver jubilee and the bigger one is to commemorate the golden jubilee one vehicle going that side uh, this part nice. I think my place is also visible from here also. But uh, some other time, I don't want to climb all these areas. I'm very lazy. I'm quite a lazy person. <laughs> a lazy chap. So guys, how do you find my village tour? An excursion to Meriama village. How do you find? I hope you have enjoyed the video. And if so, why not? Give a like, give a comment also, or please share also, and of course you can always become my subscriber in order to make my videos more popular, so that people will come to see more of my videos and places I live around. So, thank you. I'll end up the video here. So. What is left to do now is to say adios, take care, stay safe, and God bless our Nagaland. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.